everyone, today I am filming my second Let's Talk video. If you missed my first one, I'll link it down below. It was about how to start a YouTube channel. And if you missed what a Let's Talk video is, this is a monthly segment on my channel where I just kind of sit down and talk about a topic and give you my advice and some stories and see if I can help you guys out. Sorry about the plane. It's really hot in here so my window needs to be open. But before I start, I just wanted to say, I got my hair cut and they straightened my hair when I got it cut. So that's why my hair looks really, really, really different. So my school year is coming to a close and along with that comes exams. I know a lot of people have been stressing about exams lately so I wanted to sit down and just kind of have a chat about how to survive them because they are ridiculous and they're scary and they kind of, they consume my life when I have them and I can't relax. Oop, car. So the first thing I want to talk about is preparation, because I know a lot of you guys are procrastinators, you might be watching this video to procrastinate, but in terms of exams, procrastination isn't going to get you anywhere because you can't consume a bunch of knowledge within a short amount of time. You need time to go over that knowledge and review it. If you try to cram for a really big test, then it's going to bite you in the butt. I know I have finals and finals are on everything we've learned the entire year and I can't review everything I've learned in the entire year in two days. I need, you know, a week and a half to review that stuff. You know yourself better than anyone else. If you know that you study best when you are cramming for time, then I guess you should do that. But if you know you really can't cram, like I really can't cram, then you have to set limits for yourself and you have to tell yourself, okay, I know I can't do this, so I have to figure out a plan. It really helps to set a schedule and maybe do something 20 minutes a day because when you have five classes and you're being tested on what you've learned the entire year, that's really scary. But if you set one hour a day or maybe like 20 minutes per class a day, then that's a lot less scary than just, oh my god, I have these five classes and I have these exams and oh my god, what do I do? It is really important to prepare before the exam because then, you know, you're not going to freak out and also your grade can be jeopardized. So that's my advice for preparing long term before the exam, but short term before the exam, what a lot of people do is they stay up the night before studying. That is not a good idea because when you get to the exam, you're going to see a question and it's going to freak you out if you don't know it. And then you're going to get really freaked out and the tiredness is going to kick in and you're just not going to perform well. You're not going to put your best on this exam. So you should get a good night's sleep, really um, the leading up week, not even that night because it's hard to catch up on sleep. You need to get a good breakfast. I know a lot of kids skip breakfast. I never skip breakfast. Breakfast is really important. So eat protein, eat some eggs, drink some milk, stuff like that. It's also good to eat um, like fruit that has sugar because that can keep you awake. But I'm sure you've all heard that stuff said by your teachers. What I really want to talk about is just the stress and the anxiety that comes with this. I think it's really important to remind yourself that this is really important, but this is not your life. What I'm about to say is actually very similar to something Marcus Butler said on his vlog. Now it'll be a couple weeks ago, but at, right now when I'm filming this, it was a couple days ago. And he asked people in the comments to tell him how they were doing. And he said that everyone, including me, commented stressed, stressed, freaking out about homework, procrastinating, stressed. And um, he touched on the fact that exams are not everything. And the way I like to look at big tests is in five years, this is not going to be something that you think about. It's not going to be something that you have regrets about. It's just not going to be important because in the grand scheme of your life, this one test is not that important. I mean, it is important to get a good grade because then you can go to college and blah, 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 blah. But this one test it's not going to determine your life. It's not going to determine what college you get into. If you get a bad grade on this test, your life is not over. I mean, I think you should still study for it and try your best, but if your best is a C and you really, really wanted a B or an A, but you just didn't get it, don't kill yourself over it because soon it's not going to even matter. This is your life, right? 
and this tiny, tiny little bit is this one test. It's not going to matter. You're going to forget about it. You're going to move on. It's not going to impact your whole life. It really, really isn't. In the moment, it's so horrible. It's so bad. But in the grand scheme of everything, it's really not that important. And I know that's so hard to think about, but that's what I've been telling myself. I really, really try to just say that to myself. You know, this is not going to change my life. This is not going to change what college I get into or what kind of person I am. And that's another thing. People take grades and they look at it as I'm not good enough because I didn't get that A or I'm not good enough because I'm not on honor roll. A grade does not determine who you are. You are so much more than a letter on a piece of paper. You have your personality and the way you look at life and the way you choose to handle problems and the way you act around your friends and what types of food you eat and what your hobbies are and stuff like that, you are defined by so much more than a tiny little letter on a piece of paper. And I know that society doesn't tell you that. Society tells you that that letter is who you are. And if you don't have an A, then you're not good enough. But that's just not true. I personally really, really hate the way that our society tells you you are good or not good based on school because school you have math, history, English, science, and then a language. What about you know, the quality of a person. What about other hobbies? There is so much more to every human being than those five categories. And if you don't perform particularly amazing in all of those categories, I think that's okay. That's really important to tell yourself. So yes, this exam is important. And a little bit of stress is good. It drives you to study and to work hard. But this in no way forms who you are as a person. It's really easy to look at a piece of paper that says how you did in a year and think, right, I gotta see, I'm just horrible. But in reality, what's, what's the worst thing about it? You gotta see. I mean, you tried and you gotta see. Move on, you're on summer break now. I think that we as people, we focus on these tiny little things and then the more we focus on them, the more it leads everyone else to focus on them. And then it's just, it's this whole thing. Like now society makes it really important and everyone at school is like, oh, you gotta, you gotta pass that final. What'd you get on the final? What'd you get on the final? But like, who the hell cares? It's okay. If you did really well, that's great. But if not, I think it's really important to know that it's okay that doesn't define you as a person. I know I'm kind of going in a circle here and saying the same thing, and I don't want it to sound like I'm saying you shouldn't study. You should definitely study and you should definitely do your best. I'm a really studious person, so I'm like all for, you know, doing your best and, um, you know, putting in a lot of work. But sometimes I get a grade and I feel like I deserved better, but I can't change it, you know? I can't, I know I did all I could, and I'm not going to kill myself over that grade. Something to remember after you take the test, when you get your grade back. You're going to get some grades that you're totally blown away by. And you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe I got that grade. And then you're going to get some grades that are really, really bad. You're going to be like, wow, I can't believe I got that grade. But don't dwell on it once it already happened. It makes sense to be stressed before the test. It does not make sense to be stressed after the test once you have your grade. Once you have your grade, unless, you know, there's extra credit or they made a mistake, that's your grade. It's not going to change if you, you know, complain about it for the next 30 weeks. It's not going to change. That's your grade. When I get a grade, even if it's something I didn't want, I don't dwell on it because you plant this little idea of that wasn't the grade that I wanted in your head and it just grows and you chew on that idea and you just, you let it sit there and you can't, you can't fix that. You can't do anything about that. So that's just going to grow and it's just going to make you more upset. What I recommend is if you have finals like I do, then you're on summer break. So then don't worry about a grade because now you're on summer break and you shouldn't be thinking about school. Just to wrap up out of, you know, what I've said over the course of this video, 
I think that it's really important to manage your time wisely and to study. You want to make sure that you get sleep and that you eat breakfast. But the main point of this video was just to say that it is okay if you don't get the grade that everyone else says you need to get. And it's okay, you know, to just take a breath. It's going to be okay. You're going to get through this. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter what grade you get. You're going to live. You're going to survive. And I know I, I am one to say, I can't do this. I can't do this. But you know why I know I can do this? Because every other time in my life when I said I can't do this, I did it. And it was fine. Was it rough sometimes? Hell yeah. But I was fine. I was okay. I'm still here. I'm okay. Right? I'm kind of good. I hope. Uh, who knows, but... I hope this video helped some of you, or at least just made you feel a little bit better about exams and school in general. If you have any topics that you would like to hear me talk about in a Let's Talk, please, please, please leave them down below. I didn't really get that many topics last time, so I just kind of decided to do this one on my own. But if you have anything you want me to talk about, anything, it doesn't matter what it is, please leave it down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!